Maggie. Jerusalem. It's the one corner of Jerusalem. So this is the wall that Nehemiah rebuilt. Yeah, the, and this is the original city of David that got expanded into later Jerusalem. This was the start of it all. Yeah, okay. John drew that. Neat. Isn't that a nice drawing? Yes. Did you get a picture of it? Good. And over here, he drew like Joseph Arimathea's house. Yes. Uh, opposed to the simple mud floor three room house Jesus would have been born in. This is the actual, as Jonah would have seen, Nineveh. By scale. Exactly to scale. To scale. From the Oriental Institute in Chicago. Yes. We've plotted every place in the Bible on a 3D map. Yes. This would be a picture of the elders at the gate adjudicating a case outside yeah. the gate as people would bring that and having mature spiritual people saying, you know, arguing that property right or whatever it might be. Okay. Then some of the more simple ones like a sowing seed or a common scene from a, a battle. This would be the floor plan I can't see over my glasses, but I suspect it's. This was a public domain drawing that we went on to redraw. Aaron area, the royal buildings on Mount Moriah, the Temple of Solomon. Okay, Temple of Solomon and his palace. And so it goes. So it goes. So how many images, Gary? We oh, combed nice. through thirty thousand volumes, commissioned six artists. There's a Roman soldier with the various things. This is good. This is a Philistine. This would be like what David fought Goliath. Yes. And these are all images that were scanned from. Like here, there's the four horns of the altar. Do people know what the four horns was of the altar? Was this grown? That was from a public domain book. It was scanned and cleaned up in Photoshop. Yeah, it's his original, huh? So yes. many of these were. The original city of Ur. Where Abraham came from. Yes. These are off actual palaces and so forth, architectural drawings like Tiglath Pileser and the Syrian kings that are mentioned, Sargon and Isaiah 26 3. He left an image of himself. When Nebuchadnezzar put the eyes out of Zedekiah because mm. he didn't surrender according to my goodness to uh, Jeremiah's instruction Ooh. this is off his own walls this wow. is not an artist's depiction surely this needs to go in Gary well it authenticates the Bible doesn't it yeah and you need to say that you know where it is and if it's so they go on drawing. and on and on and on because the Bible is God's text message to us in a culture that he selected, in a Bible background he selected, and when we're interested in God's text message, his love letter to us, we're interested in the details. We are that time machine that brings people back for their next step Bible reading experience. So they're not only dependent on easy read translations, the original idioms, the original Bible backgrounds and customs and cultures, they relive it. They re-experience it. Draw them into the text and let them have another Bible reading experience on another level they didn't think they could do. And hence, we are a breakthrough. We're not brand new. We're old. But we're a breakthrough in the sense others don't offer it and others aren't competing because they don't have what we have. Yes. And uh, no one knows how many hours of work and labor were put in to these images. <laughs> Skipping lunch, <laughs> and how many hours do you think, Gary? Hundreds and hundreds. Of Enough hours. to make it gray all the way around. <laughs> <laughs> but not my beautiful wife. Yeah. Not yes. Right. Not one gray. Not anywhere. <laughs> no, there's a few. There's never going to be either. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Why bother? Okay. <laughs> That's funny. That's good. Oh well.